Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Ghost in Depth. In today's episode, we're going over the chainsaw. This is a light machine gun and not an actual Jason Voorhees style chainsaw, which is interesting enough because I don't think he ever used a chainsaw in any of those movies. This is going to be a more jovial and comical sort of in depth because of the sheer silliness and awesomeness of this weapon. This weapon plays as well as it looks. It is hilarious to use and very, very effective. And it's one of my favorite weapons, probably my favorite light machine gun so far. And today I'm going to tell you why. The gameplay that you're going to see is me using the chainsaw with extended mags and muzzle brake on the map strike zone. I'm also playing with J-Hub. J-Hub's going to get a KEM, but I'm going to carry the team with the most kills and the most captures. This gun is actually a low damage light machine gun. It only deals 34 damage per shot up close, but drops off to 24 at a distance. What this means for you is that it will take between 3 and 5 shots to kill, and you would think that 24 would add up to 100, but that's one shy. That would add up to uh, 96. 25 damage would make it a 4 shot kill, so this weapon can occasionally kill in five shots which is more like a submachine gun and it would seem very weak for a light machine gun the headshot multiplier is 1.4 X this is pretty normal for weapons of this class this is generally gonna mean one less shot to kill depending on whatever range you're going however when we move to the range component you can see where this weapon is much more deadly and why the low damage at long distances doesn't matter as much the range on this weapon is what's special the three shot kill range is 10.2 meters this is very similar to the two shot range of the Magnum or the p226 or the m9 the longer range handgun in the game so it will three shot kill anybody that gets up in your face anybody that gets close to you can drop in three shots very very quickly the four shot kill range goes all the way up to 47 meters and in a call of duty game 47 meters is a very very long range even in call of duty ghosts which is infamous for its large and sometimes confusing maps 47 meters is about halfway across any map it is at a very extreme range so you will very rarely need to get five shot kills with this weapon especially if you're getting a random headshot here and there the rate of fire is also very important impressive it fires at 857 rpm and when you look at the stats it'll say that the LSAT is the fastest firing light machine gun in its class and the, you know in the little stat chart there in the game that's entirely not true the chainsaw is the fastest firing light machine gun and if you put rapid fire on it it goes all the way up to 1008 rpm I have not fully investigated the rapid fire perk but I do know that it does not have a huge range penalty like it did in black ops 2 it's more of a recoil penalty so if you can handle the recoil there are very many downsides of running rapid fire with the exception of the fact that you cannot run rapid fire in extended mags you'll have some very difficult uh, ammunition con conservation issues that's why I like extended mags but again this is the fastest firing of all light machine guns and it is a true bullet hose actually it looks like a fire hose that just shoots bullets at people when it comes to recoil, it has none uh, of the typical aim down sights recoil. It has hip fire. It actually is governed by some of the main mechanics that make your sights bob up and down, but I found that since you're just hip firing, it's extremely, extremely easy to control, and I would just say that the normal recoil, the upward kick, is none. The hip fire spread is actually very tight. You would think with a weapon like this, it would have a big, cumbersome hip fire spread that it would be difficult to use, but that's entirely not true. It has tight hip fire spread. And I wanted to make a point of this because the hip fire spread on the chainsaw is better than all of the submachine guns. The chainsaw is better hip firing than any submachine gun in the game. This is a hip fire weapon. If you want to hip fire, if you like to spray from the hip, don't go akimbo. Don't go machine pistols. Go chainsaw. This is the way to go with hip fire because even when you aim down sights, it just transitions to a tighter hip fire. And I probably should have hit on that before, but this gun actually has no iron sights. On the console version, which I play, when you use left trigger to aim down sights, it just kind of like zooms in and tightens up the hip fire spread and you walk a little bit slower and that is your aim down sights. I use this mechanic to differentiate between when I want to hose somebody and be in their face and spray everywhere and when I need a slightly more precise shot for longer to medium ranges because I don't want to miss too many bullets. The aim down sights time is 0.35 seconds. That's the same as all the other light machine guns. It's very slow compared to other weapons. I think only the sniper rifles have a slower aim down sight time and only some of them. This is slower than assault rifles, slower than submachine guns, slower than pistols. But on the chainsaw, you don't have actual sights to aim down. It's more like a hip fire transition time. That's how long it takes to tighten up the cone. And this gameplay, I'm actually running it with quick draw, which I don't know why I put that on there, this is, but I did, and even with or without quick draw, it's not much of a problem. If you have the extra perks, quick draw is nice because you can snap to accuracy pretty quick, but if you don't have it, I wouldn't worry about it. Quick draw is not really necessary on this hipfire monster. One of its main weaknesses, and this is a weakness common with all the light machine guns, is that it's very, very slow to reload. The time that it takes to reload this weapon when empty or full is between 8 and 9 seconds. You can see the exact numbers there on the screen. It does have a reload cancel time, thank God in heavens 
but it's still about six seconds to go through the full reload and then cancel it. If you're going to reload this weapon, you need to be somewhere very, very safe because that's when you are most vulnerable. You're actually not very vulnerable with this weapon almost ever, except when you're reloading, you can get killed very easily. So I do actually run the chainsaw of all guns with the P226 secondary, and I make sure that I am careful to reload. That's another reason I run extended mags is so that I don't burn through my ammunition too quickly. Speaking of extended mags, the normal chainsaw comes with 80 rounds in the magazine. This is a very high ammunition count. It's uh, pretty normal for light machine guns. They're usually 50, 100, 60, 75, something like that. But when you put extended mags on it, you can carry 120 rounds in your, I guess it's a belt, a box, a chamber, Rambo style. I'm not exactly sure where we're putting all of these bullets, but you can carry 120 of them. And I highly recommend that to cut back on your reloading time. When it comes to judging iron sights, there are none. Who needs iron sights? Just spray and pray. This gun is beautiful. There's absolutely zero obstruction of your sight or what you're looking at. You get a perfectly clear image of the enemy and you can just hose them down. And when they're behind cover, this is super easy because this gun has a higher than average bullet penetration. The light machine guns in this game have high bullet penetration, which means they deal more damage on the other side of the wall than something like a submachine gun or assault rifle would. So when you just see somebody's head and you're trying to worry and like just hit the head with your assault rifle iron sights. If you get the chainsaw, pa, screw that. Just hose the whole wall and mow them all down. When it comes to my recommendation on this gun, I would actually recommend that you use it. I would highly recommend that you use it. This is my favorite light machine gun. As hilarious as this gun is to use, as silly as it looks, it's also very effective due to your higher than average mobility. With a light machine gun, when you aim down sights, if you don't have stalker, or even if you do have stalker, you move very slowly. You have a very limited degree of mobility or a stationary target. The chainsaw allows you to take your light machine gun power and range and damage, and you can move at normal walking speed or slow down just a little bit to be more precise and you can sidestep around people it's like you don't even need stalker if you don't aim down sights and you can just step around corners or hose them if somebody gets up in your face you just hose them again this is better on small maps than big maps but you are much much more mobile with the chainsaw than you are with other light machine guns and in a lot of ways the chainsaw allows you submachine gun style mobility a lot of the assault rifles are actually less mobile and less reliable hip fire than the chainsaw so this is more of a high mobility light machine gun than it is a high damage light machine gun. My recommended setup with this weapon is that you want to run fully loaded because when you run out of ammo you are really really up a creek and this is a spray and pray gun of choice and you are going to burn through ammo like crazy. Fully loaded is good. I actually run lightweight so that I can move around fast faster. I find it more beneficial to get around corners faster and sneak out of the way and run up on people than I do to have other perks. Steady aim is an absolute must. Steady aim tightens up your hip fire box which thus makes this gun more accurate because it's all hip fire and remember we're working in circles so just a small uh, percentage you have to put into the area of a circle formula and it really really radically helps. If you just ignore everything else about this episode, please use steady aim on the chainsaw. This gun is made for steady aim. I also use ready up so that I can recover from sprinting faster. If somebody gets up on me, I can go to that hip fire very, very fast and do some work. When it comes to attachments, I found that it was best with extended mags and muzzle brake. Extended mags so that I can hose more, so that I carry more ammo, so that I don't have to reload, and muzzle brake to give me extra range. Because the range in the light machine guns is so very extreme, Adding muzzle brake to it, which gives me 20% bonus range if you haven't seen the episode, is like adding another 10-15 meters to all my damage ranges, which is very important. There are other ways that you can use this. I have used it with rapid fire, and it is very, very deadly with rapid fire. It kills people very quickly with rapid fire, but I can't run extended mags, and it burns through my ammo very quickly, and I find myself reloading more often than I really need to, and it kind of makes me more vulnerable, so I didn't like that. You can also run this with a suppressor and be a silenced machine gun, which is, it's, it's actually kind of funny. Your range penalty isn't that bad. I, I kind of really like my extra range on these guns, and I don't find this to be the ultimate stealth weapon walking around the map with a giant chainsaw light machine gun at your side, but it's very, very doable, and you can do it, but I, again, I like extended mags and muzzle brake. We're going to pause the gameplay right here and go to the outro. That's all for this episode of In-Depth. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. If you'd like to check out the previous episode, it's how the semi-automatic attachment increases damage. The next one is going to be an assault rifle review on the SC-2010, and because this gameplay is so good, I'm going to go ahead and show you the entire gameplay, and the last bit of this episode is going to be the rest of the gameplay. So I hope you enjoy Enjoy it. Drifter out.
intercom spotted. Securing Alpha. A secure. Losing A. Losing A. We lost Alpha. SATCOM uplink enabled. SATCOM uplink enabled. Mission accomplished. A good day's work. <laughs> <laughs>